What's up everyone? Welcome back to the spell only Demon Souls run. To the finale of this spell only Demon Souls run, I should say. Uh I don't know what's gonna happen today, but sure as hell I'm finishing this playthrough. What the hell? There we go. Just a weird hitbox. Um yeah, so we have officially reached the the end. We have the final stage of the game left to go, which is Boletaria, and then of course the actual finale. This area itself is not too challenging, if I'm gonna be honest with you. You can just run through a lot of stuff. There are powerful enemies here, like I'm not denying that, but the honest truth is I am so like uh, powerful at this point that these guys are not going to be able to do jack shit against me. So that's what's going to be happening. I do like this area and again, I will be able to show something that I've not done in the first playthrough, which is killing the blue dragon, which is very easy to do actually with spells. At least I remember it being very easy to do with spells. Uh, I might get proven wrong here. God, this spell sucks. Seriously, bruh. It does a lot of damage, but... The fact that the thing triggers before... It actually can reach... So, like, the aggro range of the spell is greater than its actual range. That's a bit of a... That's a bit of a shitty thing. What the hell? Hold on. There is a ladder here. What the hell is this? I don't remember this thing at all. There's an item here, seriously? What is it? Oh, okay. This has to be new because this item is not in the vanilla game. Holy shit, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That palace be looking dope though. So yeah, this is our tig tiget. Fuck, I can't speak. Target. The blue eye dragon, not the Yu-Gi-Oh card. God, Yu-Gi-Oh. It looks cool though. Like the bird-like appearance. And it's actually a proper dragon, as in like it doesn't have fucking six limbs, which fantasy dragons tend to have, which looks a little bit stupid. The question is, is there going to be a spell that actually reaches him? Yes, it does. Interestingly, not Soul Ray. Or was that Soul Ray that reached him? Fuck. So this is the edge, right? Before he can hit you, yeah. Just gotta figure this out. And you might think, Mr. Sketchhead, this looks tedious and boring as hell. And to that I say, welcome to the blue dragon fight in Demon's Souls. This is pointless, tedious and boring as hell. Um, in fact, I was expecting it to be slightly less boring, I'm not gonna lie. Holy shit. Um, he has like a lot of HP, like he has like 6000 HP and I'm dealing 50 damage with a Soul Ray. Um, so here's what we're gonna do. This is how you would fight the Blue Eyed Dragon. Uh, I have demonstrated the methodology here. I'm not going to do the actual thing, because uh, holy shit, I did do this before with magic and I seem to remember doing slightly more damage. Maybe I was completely mistaken there, but man, I might be able to take him on here because you can get close to him. There's stupid Bjorn. I mean, he is trying to help us. Yeah, this might be the place. Because what you can do... 
If I remember correctly, you can get under him, like somehow. I'm like really trying to lock onto him. Believe me. Still does 50 damage. God, that sucks. I'm assuming Flame Toss isn't gonna do jack shit. Doesn't even reach him. Okay, you know what? I gave that a valiant effort, I'd say. Um, just Demon Souls things is what I would say to this fight. He is a slightly easier with a bow and arrow because you can really stand under him. Uh, man, dumb as shit, this fight. Unfortunate. Did I not talk to Ostrava? Fuck, I'm stupid. Okay, well, I completely missed Ostrava. Um, that's okay. What I'm also gonna do is we will, like, no inventory management. We'll get our dope shit equipped here. Because we will need it, I think. Oh yeah, people said that I should use the touchpad to select the inventory. Oh yeah, because you have this tool belt. Yeah, that's pretty good. Don't know why I'm not been using it. Just one of those features, you know. So yeah, there's the man, Strava. If I remember correctly, he does do magic damage. Oh shit, you're still alive. Sorry, Ostrava. You're cool, but not cool enough. Okay, and time for the game's longest elevator ride. Uh, let's just make this a little bit less painful. This is still really painful, even if you're seeing the sped up version. Come on, go. Mr. Alant. As I remember, I've fought him as a mage before and he wasn't that challenging. So I don't expect him to be too hard this time around either. Dope cutscene. I've always felt, you know, one one of the things I felt is he his costume always looked like fuck, like strangely out of place. In that he looks like like his shit looks like it's from like Victorian times. And this game is, like, very medieval. I don't know. Should have firestormed. I should have brought, brought Firestorm along. Is he, dealing, could, is he taking more damage from fire? Maybe. I really should have bought, brought Firestorm along. Not bought. Yeah, just get away. That fucking teleport, though. 
Yeah, he can like really get you with that. If you're not careful. He's not very good at dodging. Uh, I thought he would be a little bit more dodge heavy. I'm using all my tools. Don't worry. Cat homing soul arrow fucks him up. Is that gonna is that gonna be out of range? I'm really hoping I'm out of range. Yeah, I am. Just barely. A couple more should do it. Hey, dodged. GG's. Oh man, do I have a solution to that? Okay, I might might have fucked myself there. No, I did not. What the hell? Okay. Homing soul arrow. In the end... You nailed that final shot. I'll be honest, you were shitty for quite a few levels. Um, but that last shot you nailed. We can get like a COD dubstep replay on that. Stupid work phone. That's what the noise is. It sucks that you can't go out there. That is a fucking New York City penthouse. For sure. $135 million. To live in like a fucking dirty ass city. Okay, I got his soul, didn't I? False King Demon Soul. This can be probably made into some dope shit. So let me just have a quick gander. Uh, let's see. Relief. That's not it. <laughs> That's definitely not it. I know the Maiden in Black Soul can definitely be made into something. <clears throat> Nothing? That's really interesting. That's really, really interesting. I could have sworn you're able to make the soul into something. I'm such a fucking dumbass. I completely forgot about the King of Storms. I was like, wait, isn't the cutscene supposed to trigger with the Maiden in Black and shit? And I completely realized that I forgot our favorite Manta Ray. I don't even know how. I think I did the old hero and I went back to the Nexus and then just got completely distracted. Anyways, it doesn't really stop us from making this episode the finale because this boss is easy as shit. He's especially easy as shit if you're a spellcaster. Um, there's no problems here because like one of the issues normally is being able to take out the little manta rays. They can be sort of annoying, but that issue isn't even pre present here because you can just pew pew them out of the sky. See? Does this not deal ma do they not deal magic damage? I thought they did. And you know, like the shits I give are very few in terms of like I'm happy to use all my heals. If need be. Maybe a soul ray can like take them out one hit. Yes it can. Hell yeah. And I think I don't even think like more of them spawn if you kill them. So I'm happy to spend the resources. God, come on. Aim. There you go. Where's the big one? Come on! Is, is, is he not gonna... Is he gonna wait for me to kill all these little minions? 
Normally he does not do that. God, that is a sad noise. Did you hear the noise he just made? Now, I, okay, now I feel bad. We do a lot of fucked up shit in this game. Like, I'm pretty sure this is an this has to be an endangered animal, right? Oh god, it's like dealing more damage than the fucking. <laughs> okay, you are ha you're you're having a bad time. Wow. Okay. <laughs> um. I forgot. This is this easy. This is like way easier than doing it the traditional way. Um. That this is the king of storms, ladies and gentlemen. If you're a spellcaster. Um, man, do I recommend this method to you. Sorry, King of Storms. Okay, that took like a minute and a half. This has to be made into something cool. Some cool spell. It's gotta be. Shit, that was kind of insane. Like, again, way more efficient than doing it with the stupid... Um, with the stupid uh, Storm Ruler. That is very cool. That was cool the first time around as well. And it's dope here as well. This game is good, man. Like, you know, one day I'm gonna stop blowing this game. Uh, but, yeah, it's good. Nothing? Seriously? That's disappointing. One thing, though, I do have a pretty strong inclination to use uh, Firestorm for the final boss, so I'm gonna attune it. <clears throat> I feel like Firestorm is gonna make short work of whatever the finale can throw at us. The only thing that's kind of um, not up to par compared to the original is the Maiden in Black's voice acting. I feel like the original was way better. Okay, Chris Blade is phasing into gr the ground a little bit. We'll ignore that. Two D birds. This thing looks like the goddamn Iron Throne. I swear. It's a good design though. Looks a little bit like a butthole, but hey, forbidden butthole. Butthole is such a funny word. I feel like that's such a Beavis and Butthead type saying. Like, I feel like nobody says butthole in real life. <laughs> those birds <laughs> those birds are funny it's like the rain effect in GTA definitive edition GTA 3 god that thing sucks you know what the good thing is though I still have all three of them on Steam I have three Vice City and San Andreas I own them 
because they got them delisted them from like Steam and all the other stores but I still have all the copies so can't take that shit away from me in buying no definitive edition at least not until it's fixed because man is it in a sorry state right now it's in more than a sorry state they're charging fucking $70 for it too Ah, huh, Rockstar. You used to be so much better. GTA 5 Online broke you. Okay, overlap dialogue. Whatever. Oh man, do I have a surprise for you. It's called Firestorm. It's called Double Firestorm. This thing is insane. This thing is so insane. <laughs> oh man, do I like Firestorm. That is a cool spell. Wish it didn't cost that much MP. Give me the sword. Well, these last couple of bosses sure as hell didn't put up a fight, did they? Sounds like a plan. As I said in the previous playthrough, if you kill her, you are a dick. At last. At last. The end is in sight. That is like the biggest dick move. It's like, you know, doing the Shura ending in Sekiro. It's just bad, you know. It's not even ambiguous. It's just straight up bad. Where did the birds go? Which might be a problem because we've kind of been relying on the soul art for like all of our damage. But I think we'll make it work. unprecedented magic but don't tell anyone that she is no longer able to cast jack shit she's gonna have to like go the wizard of oz way because we're like supposed to be the inspiration to the world now kind of sucks no more magic yeah so that wraps up the second playthrough of demon souls magic only that was the theme if you didn't get the theme until now <laughs> well you know now you have it um this is a really cool way to play this game magic is super op miracles are super op as well but in a different way you need to oh yeah all these guys are all the npcs are gone the maiden in black soul can be made into something uh, not gonna be able to demonstrate because you have to clear Boletaria again but 
back to the general nature of this playthrough this is a really fun way to play this game in fact one of the best things about this game is how many ways there are to play it and literally everything is viable uh, which is true for other souls games as well but in this game especially where a lot of the stuff like a lot of the weapons can be exploited and can be made really op uh, so that might suck for some people but it sure as hell does open things up for interesting playthroughs and even challenge runs and again what i said was true the start of this was difficult uh but pretty much once we started pumping up mp and getting some of the stronger spells the challenge has pretty much disappeared it's just how it is it's how it is playing any spellcaster in any souls game that the end game is gonna be piss easy i will say it was easier than i anticipated i expected some of these late game bosses to prove at least a little bit of a challenge but in the end none of them really did uh but still it was fun steamrolling this game it's always a fun thing to do and yeah i think i'm gonna stop babbling and we'll wrap it up here so i want to thank you guys very much for watching hope you enjoyed this demon souls playthrough as I said, this is not going to be the last one. I will probably take a little bit of a break from Demon's Souls Remake for now. I have a playthrough, as I mentioned a couple of episodes ago, I have something planned out. It's Dark Souls 2 related, which should be fun. And I also got to finish the Hunter's Guide for Dark Souls, which is coming along pretty well as well. And then probably after that, I will come back to Demon's Souls because... I have some other playthroughs, not necessarily thematic, but I have some other playthroughs in mind, don't worry. So if you did enjoy this, this series, make sure to like the final episode, the finale. As always, thank you for liking, thank you for commenting, if you stuck it throughout the entire thing. Thanks for watching all the episodes, and yeah, I'll catch all of you next time. Turn on post notifications to stay up to date with other things I'm doing. Thanks for watching, peace out, and goodbye.